Hello my sparkly friends, welcome back to another video in The Sims 4. My name is Gemma and I make a bunch of fun Sims 4 videos here on my channel, so stay tuned for more sparkly content. Hey sparkles, hope you are doing fabulously well today. Um, so today we are doing the random genetics challenge. This is basically a challenge where you randomise the all the different features of the parents and then um, you create their child and you can make over their child and see how they turn out and it's often quite fun because some of the features because they're randomised it can be pretty crazy uh, so it's definitely a fun challenge um to do so um you saw that i just grabbed these two sims from the gallery and if you guys uh want me to use your sims in a challenge like this or in any future videos just um let me know by uh, going on the gallery and adding the hashtag Gemma's NPCs or Gemma Plays the Sims or Gemma's Townies is the other one that I use for my sims. Um, you can also find my sims that way so um, go ahead and have a look uh, on the gallery and do that and I can uh, see what you put up um, and put them in my game. Uh, so you can see I just completely randomised all of Anna's um, features. I remembered that you have to also do it like for each individual part of the face so I went back and did that. You can see she's got some pretty crazy makeup on and <laughs> some fun accessories too. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> and it gave her those tiny lips and I was like oh no. But yeah, so that's the mum Anna and then this is Nathaniel. And it gave Nathaniel um, bright red skin, but then the skin details sort of covered it up, so it was quite funny. Uh, but yeah, I was also, when I was doing the ears, I was so paranoid that it was going to be the huge ears, but luckily neither of them got the huge ears. <laughs> um, you can see as well, they both got quite small jaws, so I was getting nervous at this point. And um, Nathaniel did also get bright lilac hair, fabulous eyelashes and some earrings for his jewellery. Um, <laughs> so, and um, he did get some tattoos as well. To be, to be honest, um, I don't think, I don't think their daughter had any tattoos. Um, I should have maybe given her some because I think both of her parents ha did end up having a tattoo, but um she didn't actually she wasn't generated with any when um i created her so um i just left it as it was so i uh, generated her as a teen i thought that would be all right because it's pretty much quite similar to the young adults and i did randomize her likes and dislikes um three times <laughs> and i sort of quite like doing this i've sort of gotten into the habit of doing this when i'm creating sims um and i just think it's nice to sort of inform you on like what their personality is like um yeah i quite like doing that with the likes and dislikes so uh, i just started off and i was trying to i think you are allowed to change um like if the brow like you're allowed to change their brows to being cc and add skin de details and things um so i think i had a look at this symbian skin detail um the dream girl lashes were messing with i think it was perhaps the rings that she was wearing the accessories she was wearing um but i gave her this little nose highlight and i thought I'd go for the Symbiant's um, skin detail and the, uh, this GS overlay as well. Um, <clears throat> it's nice to like brighten up the face a bit. I did want to change her eyes because it has the EA eyelashes and I don't have that mod, but um, I thought I couldn't find like ones that were exact same, so I, I just ended up not changing it. Um, but I did add some praline eyelashes and eyeliner and added some cute um lips cc lipstick 
um, that I thought really suited um, this girl. She's called Lizbeth, which is a pretty cool name. Uh, I don't think I've ever met anybody called Lizbeth in my life, but I did randomise it and um, I think she took her dad's name. Yeah, she did because her mum's called, her surname is Simpair or something. So, um, <clears throat> You can also see I've downloaded a bunch more CC, uh, so I was trying out these moon hairs, uh, mood, sorry, mood, not moon, <laughs> um, and I thought she, I thought um, because she was generated with, I think she was generated with a similar hair to her dad, so um, I thought I would sort of be true to that and give her some cool um, short pinky purpley hair. And I kind of felt that she would be quite edgy. I think, um, I think, um, the, I was going for the, like, mixologist, uh, vibes. I was, I was sort of imagining her, um, sort of bartending and being pretty edgy and cool. So, um, that was what I was keeping in mind when I was creating her. Um, and I thought she would definitely take no messing from any of the people at the bar I thought she would definitely be um one of those people who's just cool without even trying you know <laughs> a very sort of relaxed casual but cool um and uh kind of imagining her in like a sort of an edgy bar setting um I absolutely love these sort of is it like a cargo style trouser I thought they were so cool and I could I was gonna go for like a black trouser originally but I just thought these were so cool in the lighter um, sort of beige color um, so I went for those in the end I did want to give her some cool edgy boots but um, the the trousers weren't really were a bit clip, clipping with them a little bit so I went for some black uh, trainers instead I thought if she's on her feet all night then um, it would probably be better to do that anyway and they gave us some edgy rings and jewelry and stuff as well and yeah that was how she turned out guys I hope you like her I think she's so pretty and cute um, but I, I also did add her to the gallery I ended up taking out her parents from the family just so um, <laughs> the crazy CC people um, weren't uh, and crazy accessory people weren't up <laughs> on there as well um, and you can just see me typing out the description here and um, I did add the hashtag so if you do want to uh, find her um, find lovely Elizabeth uh, you can absolutely do it um, and find her on the gallery so that's all from me today I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon bye bye I hope you guys liked this video, if you did please remember to click that sparkly like button, comment down below and subscribe for more Sims 4 content. Until next time, I'll see you soon, bye bye!